Nevada. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Tyrod Taylor and the L.A. Chargers. NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. The atmosphere here electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Los Angeles Chargers. coming for the Raiders and a quarterback their longtime starter in his seventh season, Derek Carr. Sometimes I wonder if we're just not looking at Derek Carr and evaluating him the correct way because this guy's been incredibly reliable. Only two missed starts in six seasons with the Raiders. His completion percentage top 70% last year. The only one higher, Drew Brees in New Orleans. The problem, though, it hasn't translated into wins. They move the ball up and down the field, but they don't score enough touchdowns. Derek Carr hoping to remedy that in 2020. On the ground, this is Jalen Richard, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's second and seven now from the 28. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So some rolling over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Carr gives to Richard. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. The ball carrier. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and 12. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. From the gun, it's Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Up third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Thirty-five yards 
that time on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Chargers now get ready for their opening possession as they feature at quarterback in his 10th season in the NFL, Tyrod Taylor. Many in the outside world see Tyrod Taylor as a bridge quarterback since the Chargers moved on from Phillip Rivers and drafted Justin Herbert. But head coach Anthony Lynn, he sees much more than that. They were together as play caller and quarterback in Buffalo when they went to the playoffs. And Coach Lynn believes that Tyrod Taylor can replicate that in Los Angeles. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at about the 32. And they'll run the option to start the drive. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. 38 yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Taylor. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. 11 yards there. First down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Running on first down, Eckler. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. He's across midfield. He was brought down by Malik Collins. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Going deep here for Allen. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. He was out there waving his arms, saying throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. He can run for it, and he will. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Ty Long to punt. And this will do the job nicely as that'll be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But that definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. 
two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, Carr. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. The open man here, Renfro. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On third down, Richard. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to the 40 yard line. That's good for a Las Vegas. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Scoreless after one. Second quarter from Vegas. The home standing Raiders with a football here as they've got it with a first and ten. from the gun. It's Carr. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown Las Vegas. Brian Edwards. 60 yards. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. It almost felt like they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little bit. <laughs> things jumped up. And you're exactly right. Going to make a highlight film or two. We'll be watching that one later on today. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. It's 7 zip Vegas. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As this old brain remembers, 
when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Taylor, he'll get this to Eckler. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Taylor. Gets this one to Hill. Taylor is five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Taylor, a handoff, it's Eckler. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm gonna be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is just gonna gang up on the run and set them down. Complete to the right side, it's Allen. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Allen's first catch, good for a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. A couple of first downs on the drive already as he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Here is Eckler. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second and 11. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Taylor got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A seven-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the gun, Taylor. Taylor hit. He lost the football. And the Raiders have recovered. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
Throwing on second and eight. Carr. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And the reception good for seven. It's third down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up third and one. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. The Charger D making things difficult, and it's fourth down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Operating from the gun. Taylor. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. Then he goes down. Maurice Hurst able to get him for a loss of about three. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Taylor going to put this in the hands of Eckler. And he goes out right around the 39. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. From the gun, Taylor. He's got his tight end complete. It's green. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route so tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. 
Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. And on the left side, he's got Witten. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Operating from the gun. Carr. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Henry Ruggs. 76 yards. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly for six. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Carlson on for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. the 25 and down at the 28 on the return the chargers take over first and 10 at their own austin eckler and the charger offense reclaim center stage he's just been looking for some space you know i'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line but they need to get this run game going better sometimes you just have to credit the defense they came in with a plan themselves so i think now you try and mix things up a little bit get the ball in the hands of some other people find some other playmakers but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat i was gonna say don't forget about it. no don't take him totally out of the game Now Taylor on first down. And that's into the hands of Eckler. Not much there, only a yard. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. From the gun, Taylor caught left side, Williams. The Chargers gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. down it's Taylor over the middle complete that's Williams and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory 
Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Taylor will throw again. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Final play of the half. It's Taylor. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. It to the 30 yard line here, right at the 30. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report. We saw a strong first half from the veteran QB, Derek Carr. His guys have a two touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. Here's Reed. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. Oh, ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. down Richard and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. He's tackled. Now Brandon that's the way you want to run the football there should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now bam boom biff that's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six now second and four. <laughs> Operating from the gun Carr and this one complete to win no the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter 
they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. He was Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And this is caught. Touchdown. second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Carlson now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. They will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. Chargers offense back onto the field. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 21. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Henry. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll run here with Eckler. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. That is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Second and 10 now, it's Taylor. Man open left side, it's Williams. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. 
They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Taylor. And it's complete. Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Complete. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. First down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play. He joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Now Eckler. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And on the stop defensively, Raekwon McMillan. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. From the 44, Taylor. Short pass caught by Henry. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 33. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Well, look what we have here. A sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football, but right now they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Going on the ground with Eckler. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Eckler, the ball well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. It's now second and six at the 29-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Taylor. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. The tackle made by Jeff Heath. First and goal, Los Angeles. them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious on the defensive side if they stay aggressive because you know they And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. point. 
It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. So that one along 11 play drive. And it was capped off by a Tyrod Taylor touchdown run. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. Here comes Richard on the return. Oh, good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And now here come the Raiders. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago. And now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives. And a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say <laughs> run the football. You've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Hunter Renfro is the man he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 13, it's a first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Throwing on first down is Carr. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. It's a gain of seven. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. <laughs> to throw his car. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Have confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Car now on first down. Throw right side going to be caught by Waller. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll go down at the 28. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscle all over the field and getting pushed down it. Room for Jacobs there on first down as he takes this one forward for a pickup of about seven. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to, 
says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. It'll be Carr himself. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. On the ground, Richard, and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Consecutive gains of one, two, and now three yards brings up fourth down. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here. A major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. They go with Jacobs. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders add six to their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Carlson on for the PAT. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And he was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs.
The Charger drive about to get going. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.